Hello guys. Yo, welcome back. Previously we stopped at lesson four puzzle six controlling memory with variables. So I want you to log in with your username and your password to the web address studio.code.org and you have your class code, you sign in with your class code, you join the session. So today we are going to start from puzzle 7, lesson 4, puzzle 7. So I want you to go to puzzle 7. So the instruction on this page says create and assign at once. What are we going to do here? He said that we are going to do something like this. Do this. We all just quickly practice using this form of variable creation and assignment. Create a variable lives and assign it the value free using the new one line version of this command. See animation at the right. Okay? So what we are going to do here is that we are going to use this new one line version of command. That is variable score gets the value zero. You know, before we use this variable x, then we use also this x. The variable x is equal to what value? So, but now we are going to make use of one line, one line what version of this command. So, and we are told to use what create a variable called lives and assign it the value 3 okay so let's run this code first so that you will see exactly what we are going to create okay this is for variable score 0 okay the value of score is 0 so we are going to create the value of what lives we are going to create the value of lives so you drag this drag this variable function block okay you come over here and type uh, lives lives gets three three okay so the console log message you snap it under this place then console.log the value of live is what three so you type the value of lives is the value of lives is what? So you take another console log message, you put it here. The value of lives is what? Lives. So we are going to remove the quotation mark, okay? You remove the quotation mark and type lives, okay? So you click run and check it out. So that's it. The value of score is zero. The value of lives is three. So here we made use of what? One line version of this command. That is the variable score and the value zero they are in the same word line they are not separated so you click finish and go to puzzle seven puzzle eight okay puzzle eight instructions try each of these three things We've given you the first two lines of code in a program. Expand each box below and try what's suggested. Each builds on the previous one, so you might want to go in another. Switch to the test mode and try to type. So you expand this, number one. Okay? Switch to the test mode and type a console log statement to display the value of score. 
switch to the test mode okay so what you're going to do here is you're going to switch to this test show test okay show test have you seen it this is how you type variable score get zero so when you type it this way it represents this block okay console log the value of score is what score all right drag block into test mode so if you don't want to type you can do what you can drag block are you getting it so let's use for example let's use for example var life is equal to zero var life is equal to that is var life gets three you can type it var life var life gets three have you seen it var life gets three now when you show block it's gonna show you this block var life gets three now if you don't want to type it you can delete this you can delete it and drag the block you can delete it and drag the block show block you drag this block you put it over here okay so the variable x is what live live and it gets what here is what three have you seen it so when you go to show test it's gonna show you exactly the same thing you typed var life gets what three have you seen it so you can come over here and continue again console.log console.log okay put your quotation mark the value of live is the value of live is you should block have you seen it console log the value of live is same thing okay now the value of live is what live the value of live is live so you can snap this block also you put it here okay you can go to show tests and type it inside the box the value of live is what is going to be here you delete everything and write what live You show block okay you can run same thing so either you use the block command or you do what or use your test so at this stage you are going to be using test you're going to be typing it in test instead of using the blocks okay so, uh, so because we are doing coding and in coding you have to type you have to type without the block you have to type are you getting it so all the things we typed here you can show them in what in block form when you click show blocks you can see them in block form okay so you click finish it takes you to puzzle 9 controlling memory other ways to store values okay so here it says that gets instead of equals so we are laying emphasis on this sign in mathematics is called the equal to sign in math okay equals this is equals okay but in computer in programming we call it what gets okay in a JavaScript statement like a equal to b isn't a statement of mathematical equality it means what a gets what b so in programming we call this sign gets are you getting it so we'll continue we'll go to 10 
puzzle 10 puzzle 10 variables and arithmetic expressions variables and arithmetic expressions so here this is what we are going to learn we are going to learn how to compute these arithmetic expressions these operation signs the add the subtract the multiply the divide and the parentheses all right so let's start Go. The goal here is mostly to acquit yourself with typing arithmetic expressions. The answers to the questions below are less important and should be used as interesting things to investigate. We've given you some starting code with five statements. With five statements similar to ones in the table above. Add console log or write statement to display the values of each of the variables. Where are the variables? These are the variables. Add, subtract, multiply, divide, parentheses. Okay? So, what you are going to do here is to do what? Add console.log or write statement to display the values of these variables. For example, variable add gets... 7 plus 3 okay so the variable add what is the value of this add 7 plus 3 is what 10 so you are going to use the console.log statement or the write statement to display this result all right so i snapped this here we mix both of them the first one is a uh, where is console.log Okay, not here. Let's use the right, the right test. Right. Okay, you put the right test under this place. Okay, so variable add gets 7 plus 3. Okay, so write add. Add is the result. The result is add. Write add. Have you seen it? You write add. So if you don't want to do it this way, you can do it this way. You can use the show block. You write add okay so when you click on run it's gonna give you the result of this number one run have you seen it 7 plus 3 is what 10 so we've not added the statement for others okay so let's go to 3 let's go to 3 variable sub subtraction gets 7 minus 3 so you come over here you click enter let's use console.log statement console.log so you type console console.log you select it console.log sub console.log sub semicolon okay so you reset you run four have you seen it console.log sub is what four seven minus three is what four okay so the next one is a variable multiply seven multiply three is 24 so you come over here let's use right right you select right right what multiply semicolon okay the next one is a division console.log console.log division div division okay which one is remaining again variable parentheses 83 plus 90 2 plus 86 plus 94 all divided by 4 okay so you come over here you type console let's use write 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 what parentheses write parentheses
write paren write paren division okay write paren semicolon okay so that's all show block you click reset so this is what we did we did this okay so you click run you click run so these are the results okay the ones down here four under 2.333 and so on is for what console.log is for console.log so the one here 10 21 and 88.75 is for write the write statement okay so both of them we are separated because they are different statements this one is for write this one is for what for the console.log okay so if you want all of them to be in write you can use the write statement instead of console.log you can remove this you can remove the console.log console.log and you use a write You use the right, the right statement. Right. Right solve. Okay, here, right multiply. Over here, you remove this and use right also. Right. Right division. So, you show block, you click run. So, these are the results. Okay? So, you check the results yourself. 7 plus 3 is 10. That's the result. 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay? 7 times 3 is 21. 7 divided by 3 is 2.33. Okay? And when you add this, it's 3 plus 92 plus 86 plus 94 divided by 4. The result is 88.75. Okay? So we click uh, finish. Okay. Test and variables living together. So... In this lesson, we are going to make use of what one line, that is, we will combine the test and variable using what one right statement, using the right statement, okay? So, for example, over here, it says that the operator plus operator has two different meanings in JavaScript, depending on what type of data you are applying it to. So, and here it means what? To add two numbers. For example, variable number one gets 5 plus 7. Variable number two gets number one plus 10. Number one plus 10. That is, you can use this to add what? Two variables. That is, variable number one means what? 12 plus what? 10. So, because num1 is a variable, that holds a number and 10 itself is obviously a number. In this case, plus will do addition like you would expect. So, what we are going to do here is we are going to replicate this. Okay, for example, num likes is 7, write so far plus num likes plus people like this page. That is, so far, because it's half quotation mark, is going to write this. Plus num likes. Num likes is 7. That is, so far, 7 people like this page. Okay? So, instead of writing so far, 7 people, you use so far, num likes. So far, num likes. 
So let's run this and check it out. You have seven, you have three lives left with score zero. Okay? So you come over here, variable score gets zero, variable lives gets three. Variable score gets zero, variable lives gets three. So write you have plus lives. Okay? What is the value of lives three? You have three lives left with score. What is the value of score? Zero. Have you seen it? So we're going to replicate it. You are going to do this. You have plus lives, okay? You have three lives left with score zero, okay? That is correct. You click the show block. That is it in your show block form. The show test, okay? So we are going to stop here. Next class, we will continue from puzzle 12. See you guys.